And as we track Hurricane Ian, local communities are also keeping an eye on Brad's forecast so they can get prepared. Channel 2's Veronica Griffin continues our live severe weather team 2 coverage from Midtown Atlanta and Veronica. Our roads could be impacted by this. That's right. In the coming days, some Floridians will likely make their way here looking for temporary shelter. But it was today that we saw utility crews headed down the interstate towards the storm, towards Florida to help out when needed. Out of state power company trucks were spotted Monday evening passing along the downtown connector. Crews likely on the way to help out in Florida. It's where Hurricane Ian is expected to do major damage. Meanwhile, Georgia state and county leaders are gearing up for Ian's effect here at home. Obviously, at this point, we're, we're concerned. So concerned about Ian that Fulton County leaders say they're in touch with FEMA and they're monitoring the reports out of Florida while keeping a close watch on local weather reports here in the Atlanta metro. We are anticipating things based upon the reports that we're getting that could be a problem come Thursday, certainly on Friday. So we're getting prepared. Also gearing up for Ian's impact on Georgia, GEMA Director James Stalling. In a press conference with the governor, he laid out some of the emergency plans in place for the state. This particular event, because it's so widespread, it's going to cover most of South Georgia there. Uh, we do have stuff in the making area ready to deploy. Both state and county leaders say while they're prepared for Ian, they're also preparing for the likely influx of Floridians needing a place to call home for a while. We're prepared from an emergency management point of view, but more importantly from the point of view of handling and accommodating people who are concerned about their safety and are being proactive and want to leave Florida to come to Georgia, specifically in Georgia, to Fulton County. Now, we also reached out to the Red Cross. They tell us they have several teams on standby ready to help. George. All right, Veronica, again, like you said, standby ready to help. Veronica Griffin, live for us. Thank you.